Hi guys, this is Anastasia. Today we're gonna create a fully procedural eye for your cartoon character in Maya. First, we'll make an eyeball, then a sclera, and then we'll move to the pupil. Let's start. Let's begin by creating a sphere and rotating it 90 degrees along the x-axis. Next, we'll switch to the vertices mode and activate the soft selection by pressing the B key on the keyboard. To increase the radius, simply hold down the B and drag the middle mouse button. After adjusting the radius, we can now move the selected vertices backward. Overall, it looks good, except for the vertex in the middle. By selecting it separately, we can just carefully bring it back into the alignment. Let's create another sphere and rotate it by 90 degrees along the x-axis. Switching to the vertices mode, we can activate the wireframe mode and improve our visibility by selecting vertices. Press B on the keyboard to enable soft selection and drag the vertices slightly forward. I also want to increase the size of the second sphere, it will be our sclera and the first sphere is our eyeball. For creating the pupil, we'll temporarily disable the visibility of the second sphere in the attribute editor. Let's create an additional sphere and rotate it by 90 degrees along the x-axis. Then we can scale it down. I want to switch to the wireframe mode in the meanwhile. We can further scale and flatten the sphere afterwards. Just bring it into the position and delete the faces which are just not visible anyway. And let's rename everything. First sphere is an eyeball, second is a sclera, and the last one is pupil. I want to turn on the visibility for the sclera back and group all three spheres together. And now it's time to assign shaders. Let's open the hypershade window, the blue ball icon on top. We will use AI standard shader, we need four of those. And let's rename it. First one gonna be the sclera. The second one is the pupil. The third is the eyeball. And the fourth is the iris. Let's go back to the first shader, Sclera, and replace it fully to the glass preset. Then Pupil, I will change the color to black and increase the roughness till max. Then we'll have an eyeball, changing color to white and increasing roughness till max. We'll come back to iris later as it's gonna be a layered texture.
Now we need to assign materials. Assigning scleral material to the outer sphere and outer node visibility as we're not gonna need it till render part. Then we have pupil. Now selecting faces for the iris, you can use paint select mode by pressing tab and choose faces which are not easily accessible. And Ctrl Shift I to invert selection. We'll assign eyeball material to the rest. I want to create an armored physical sky to be able to see the results immediately when we start working on the iris shader. I want to set the sky radius to 0 because I want to see it only in the render preview, I don't really need it in the viewport. This is how I looks now in the render view. Time to work on iris. Press tab and type layer texture. Connecting the out color with the base color. We need to create four layers just by clicking on the empty space and turning off the visibility of the last three layers. Now we are creating a ramp node, which is a gradient, and our iris main color. And a color correct node. It will allow us to change the end result just by adjusting the hue because otherwise whenever we want to change the eye color we would always have to reduce the gradient completely. I actually forgot something, we need to prepare the UVs for the eyeball. Let's go to the UV editor and separate the iris part from the rest of the eyeball. I will also make a cut along the eyeball to be able to unfold it. If there are any cuts that have been made automatically, just stitch them back together like I got some cuts behind the pupil. In the end it should be just one circular UV shell for the iris and one for the rest of the eyeball.
Coming back to the hyper shade, let's finish the gradient, you can make any color you like. And you can see now how the color correction node works. Next layer is noise, we're gonna make lines which are pointing towards the center. Don't forget to make the next layer visible as well. Next layer is ramp, where black will be visible part and white invisible. We need to do that to reach the effect of disappearing texture. Choose the black color in the gradient and click on the checkboard next to it. It will allow us to assign the texture we want to project on the iris. I will choose the 2D noise texture. To see the results, I need to make the current layer visible and change the blend mode to multiply. The black color might look too contrast. I will change in the color balance section the offset color to blue.
Next layer will be ramp again, and again we use a gradient to reach the disappearing texture effect. And texture assigned to black is also 2D noise. and also switching the blend mode to multiply. I created one more layer with exactly the same technique with a noise that is very detailed. You can stop here or create with me an alternative layer. I want to create one more layer with the same pattern but more detailed to be able to switch between them depending on which one is fitting the best. I think the pupil is quite voluminous, let's make it flatter. That looks much better. The procedure Katuna is ready. Thank you for watching. See you in my next videos.